been asked how did the habitation service go so I thought well I'll just do a quick video of the habitation service and let you know because the habitation service was a full service for the motor part of the motor caravan a habitation service for the caravan part of the motor caravan uh, oil change brake fluid clutch fluid um, central heating fluid the Audi central heating has this blue antifreeze stuff in it and he's changing every two to three years so that's being changed so it's a quite extensive service so I think I'll show you the damage um, but first of all I thought well I'll take the opportunity whilst I've got everything out of the van to clean the carpets so hold on to your excitement here's some carpet cleaning all right I've got all the carpets out of the van because uh, it's gone for its habitation service so I the, thought I'd take the opportunity to give them all a good clean. You can see they're a bit well, worn. I tend to use the carpets a fair bit, so they do get a bit worn. I think probably eventually we'll, we'll change them. Um, but I'm going to give them a, a good vacuum in first, and then I'm going to um, shampoo them with a carpet shampooer. <laughs> Right, I'm going to shampoo it with uh, this beast here. I've had this for a few years. It's a Bissell, Bissell Aqua Pro, Aroma Pro. I'll say it. So it's got all sort of attachments and everything, and you you choose how how strong you want the uh, thing to, or basically how much water you want it to use. And yeah, it's got floor cleaning or tools. So I'm going to give that a go, see what they come up like. This is the shampoo I use. I think it was just after B&Q. And hold on, what do you do? Alright, put water in first. I don't have to do this. Water. It's run out. Oh well, I'll have to do it. Top on. This is a thing that you put in here. Helps it heat up, I think. Well, that's it. Vacuumed and shampooed the carpets. Can't really see too much of a difference yet. Hopefully, it'll look a bit better once it's dried out. I'm going to leave them for a couple of hours to dry out. The van's still in the garage for its habitation service. I'm hoping to pick up in a couple of days. We've got a fairly big job to do, changing all the fluids and brake fluids, clutch fluid, LD central heating fluid, habitation service, change the oil, do a van service. So a fair bit to do yet. Right, on my way to pick up the van. It's had its annual service and um, it's passed its MOT, which is the good news. Um, they've not been able to change the Aldi heating fluid because they didn't have enough fluid, apparently. Um, and they said that the 
brake fluid was okay, they tested it with the meter and said it's, it's okay. I normally want to change after after three years, but they said it's still okay, so uh, alright, I'll take the word for it. Anyway, it probably cost me less at least, so um, that's good news. So, on my way to Preston, and I'll go and get the van. In 200 yards, you will reach your destination. Your destination, Tancock Lane, is on the left. service uh, habitation service and gas check was 163 MOT 58 and the full engine service 265 so just under uh, 500 pounds so uh, spotted that the sink cupboard door is loose in the bathroom which I think I already knew about just needed a new hinge I think other than that all done Gas check was all right. Uh, air soundness, okay. Yep, looks good. Let's go and get hitched up. job get some of this stuff back in the van try and leave some of the stuff that I don't use in the garage Thank you. 
kitchen stuff. Here's my vote for the most useful motorhome accessory ever in the world. And it's the collapse, collapsible bucket. And it's so useful you can take uh, washing up to the washing up point, you can take dirty clothes out in it, you can bring in clean cutlery, it will carry anything, you can use it to drain out the motorhome in an emergency, I've done that before and anything else. And the great thing about it is it collapses down to flat. Brilliant. Whoever invented that would like to shake their hand. Got it? Yeah. Right, this is the foam bit, isn't it? So you think you've got the zip there, haven't you? Yeah. The other great things about having a motorhome is having a second fridge, particularly yeah, at Christmas. Christmas yeah, because yeah. uh, we're getting some food on for Christmas Day. Yeah. So we'll just go collect that, put that in here. Yeah. And extra bread that I order, I can put in the freezer in here as well. Yeah. Yep. That's really handy. There we are. Fridge is on. Right. Brilliant. Right, that's it, got all the carpets in, got the bedding on. The bathroom's all nice and carpeted. <laughs> nice and tidy. Yeah. Nice and tidy and it smells clean, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. And in spite of the blooming weather, every time we went outside we were treading water in, weren't we? Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's much better in here, aren't we? When we're um what are we? <laughs> Ready to go. Okay. Ready to go, that's it. I knew there was a, a name for this feeling. Yeah. It's yeah. called I've got the van ready, I want to get going. Yeah, it's only I mean, it's oh. taken a while, isn't it? Because you had to take everything out, then you had to take it to Preston, then you had to go yesterday to pick it up, then you had to put everything back. So I think it's taken a couple of hours today. Yeah, excuse me, just blowing my nose in and yeah. out of the van um, all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so yes, lovely and clean, mm. ready to go. So, next adventure is Moffat. Moffat, yeah. Moffat, so where we're heading to Moffat for Hogmanay. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're going on the 28th, aren't we? Yeah, I think yeah. so. I yeah. think it's then. It's after Christmas. Yeah. Anyway. And uh, the other thing we're going to do, I think, whilst we're there, is to do a little live stream. We'll try, try that out, live stream. Not yeah. sure what we'll do. <laughs> probably I'm sure anybody about. will listen, be there with us. But. Yeah, so we're probably going to plan that on the uh, day after we get there, which will be the 29th. Or, I think. The, or the 30th. Or the 30th. Watch Just out Saturday. for yeah. Watch out for our Twitter updates and Facebook updates. Uh, if you're not already following me on Twitter and Facebook, please do so. Um, Anything else you want to add? No, no. I mean, at least with well, the live stream, Bob and Aileen will be with us, so yeah. we won't be completely talking to ourselves. So there won't so. be too, too much <laughs> erring and arming. Well, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, thanks for the uh, t shirt. Cali camping, wasn't Cali it? California camping. camping yeah. yeah, so wearing that with pride. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> waiting for the Dan Trudgeon mugs Thanks now, so. aren't we? Yeah, so. that's right. Yeah. Yeah, complete with the plastic uh, cover <laughs> the, thing. The lids, yeah. yeah. We'll have to figure out what we're <laughs> going to do. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so okay, then. so give us a like. Uh, remember to subscribe. Hit the notifications option if you haven't already done so, and we'll catch up with you on the way to Moffat.
So see you then.